why should you even really use a foam cannon? Um, the main reason we're going to use this foam cannon is really just to protect our paint. We're going to give ourselves an extra layer of uh, that foam and soap uh, between our wash mitt and the car. So we've all seen like those Instagram posts where everybody's spraying on that super thick foam. Um, you really don't need to get the foam that thick. Uh, the main thing we're looking for is just getting a complete coverage of soap and suds all over that car. Um, the longer we can let that sit, uh, the, the better. It's going to start breaking down that dirt and grime. Uh, you want to try and avoid washing in direct sunlight. Uh, so that gives us a little extra time to let the, the car soak and sit and then uh, we're not rushed to wipe it down. So to get started, all you really need is a pressure washer, uh, preferably 1900 PSI or less, um, some 25 or 45 degree nozzles, um, of course a foam cannon, we like to use the MTM PF22.2, um, we find that one works uh, really, really well, uh, some buckets with some clean water, um, some of these wash guards in there to help uh, collect the debris, car shampoo, a wash mitt, and then some drying rags. Um, and this is also from MTM. This is the, uh, the spray gun we use for our uh, pressure washer. Uh, and that's it. We'll have all the links listed down below for you. So fill up your bottle with warm water and pour in a generous amount of shampoo. I like to use about the same as I would for like a five gallon bucket. Anywhere between five to 10 bloops. Bloops, yes, that's a scientific term. Also, quick tip, don't shake it up. Just swirl it around and get a good solution. Let's set that aside and rinse the car down. With this pressure setup and nozzle angle, we should be safe from damaging the clear coat. Look for any paint chips and take a mental note of these areas and keep the nozzle a little further away and keep moving. Hand always on a swivel. We want to soak the whole car down and try and knock off any major debris and bug guts. Once you've got the car soaked down, let's switch to our cannon and spray it down. There's a few different controls you can use while spraying, like altering the angle of spray and flipping from vertical to horizontal. You can also change the soap output, but let's be honest, I know you want all the soap. Work top to bottom and cover the whole car. Use whatever's left in your bottle to re-hit those trouble areas. Grab your wash mitt and start at the roof and gently glide the mitt over the roof, working top down. Flip and wash your mitt out after a few passes to avoid picking anything up that might scratch the paint. Once you've got it all wiped down, we're going to grab the spray gun and rinse off the rest of the soap. Take note to really wash out all the gaps and trims around the car. Now that everything is rinsed off, we're going to grab our towels and dry the car. I know this seems like an extra step, but if you aren't using a water filter, your water probably has some type of minerals in it. Letting this dry on its own can cause water spots, where the water dries out but the minerals are left on the paint. If this sits for too long, you may have to polish these out. Thanks for watching guys, that was quick and easy. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please leave us a comment down below uh, or reach out to us on our other social medias at Tesla Bros.